Hi guys! Oh, so we are pregnant again. Ta-da! I'm sure that... <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'm sure that you guys can relate. Shiba, I don't need your side comments, okay? I don't need it. I'm sure that you guys can already tell by the title of the video and that's why you clicked on it. So we are very much pregnant. We are expecting baby number two. <laughs> At this point, I think I am... Um, I honestly don't know how far long I am or how far long. I don't know how they say it. I don't know specifically and that's because I honestly... I'm not caring too much about this pregnancy. I feel like I've been down this road so many times. Mind you, this is my third pregnancy and my second baby by God's grace. You know, I feel like I've been down this road so many times and I just don't have the energy to start monitoring. Oh, baby is now the size of a pear. Baby is now the size of an apple. Baby is now the size of a pineapple. Baby is now the size of a cucumber. Like, I don't care. <laughs> I just know that this baby is healthy, this baby is kicking, this baby is moving and that's all that matters to me so I don't know what specific week I am in and I'm not gonna lie if I'm going to have to check or if I want to know I'll have to start to calculate or just re-download my flow app and put in all the information then I can get the specific you know number of weeks I've been pregnant for but <laughs> you guys I'm one of those people that I'm not sentimental. Like I don't tighten things to my chest like that. Do you understand? I don't even know the sex of the baby. Like, for instance, if I'm 26 weeks pregnant, I still don't know the sex of this baby, and that's because I don't care. Is it a boy or a girl? <laughs> so I will know later. Like later, 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 later when I'm ready, I will know. Okay? But I care. I care. I actually care about the gender. But yeah, it's one of those things. I don't want to tighten it to my chest so much do you guys understand obviously if you're watching this you know that i already have a boy and i want a girl <laughs> i would want a girl yeah there are some people that they don't mind the same sex multiple times i want a boy and a girl so hopefully the baby's a girl but if the baby's not a girl moving on that story for another time so the main reason i'm doing this video is to share why i'm not hiding my pregnancy this time you know the first time i got pregnant i i only carried that pregnancy for 12 weeks plus but i was documenting I, like i was documenting every moment every step because obviously it was my first time of getting pregnant even though that was like the most terrible pregnancy i've ever had because i was terribly sick guys i was 100 percent sick in that three months of pregnancy you know it was terrible but i still tried on the days that i can to document how i'm feeling and you know the progress if i'd carried to full term i was going to share along the way i wasn't going to wait to the end of pregnancy then start to share the news i was going to share maybe my second or third trimester i was going to share before baby came but unfortunately i lost that pregnancy and because of that you know it just set a tone or a bias towards not sharing do you understand i'm not that kind of believer that believes that oh when you share your pregnancy there are people that are looking at you that when they look at you like this the pregnancy just disappear or they are just waiting for you to come and say oh you lost the baby blah 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 i'm not that kind of believer i like my faith has gone past, 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 past. Like, I don't even believe in all those kind of superstitious uh, beliefs, you know. Some people will say, oh, you put pin on your pregnancy, on, 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 on your clothes, so that when, <laughs> you put pin on your dress, so that when you go out in the afternoon, witches and wizards will not see you. <laughs> I don't care about those things. Like, I don't care. Because I know that it's not my portion. Better is it that is in me than he that is in the world, you know. <laughs> Except you go through Jesus. If you can go through Jesus, then you can come to me. If you can't do that, then sorry, you know, I'm, I'm impenetrable. Like, you can't touch me. I'm untouchable to you, right? So, but because of that loss, it just set a tone for Juba's pregnancy. My mom specifically told me that she doesn't want to see it on Instagram, blah, 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 you know? I, I didn't blame them because of what has happened previously. So I didn't blame them for having that kind of mindset and all that. But even me, I wasn't ready to share because if you have gone through loss, pregnancy loss, then you know the toll it takes on your mind. Like it just messes up your mind most of the time. So throughout the pregnancy, I was just all about making sure that the baby was fine, making sure that the pregnancy was progressing the way it was supposed to. Like I was seeing the doctor like every two weeks in nine months. <laughs> if you follow my pregnancy journey, like Juba's pregnancy, you would know like I was always going to see the doctor. If I hear pimp, I've gone. Like if I hear boom, I've gone. 
I was so meticulous about that pregnancy but, and it was just because of you know what I had gone through previously but now I know that loss is not my portion I know that this pregnancy is here to stay I know that this baby will do well this baby will grow well and I just didn't see any need to wait till, till after before I now start sharing and because I have so many things to share motherhood is like the foundation of my brand it is how I built my brand you know and I just really really have so much to share and i feel like i need to share them while they are happening as against waiting till after they've happened document wait till after they happened before i now start to share no there's some things that i just want to pick up my camera and just say instantly to the people that this is how i'm feeling today this is how i'm not feeling today you know so many things like so 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 many pregnancy is nobody's mate you guys like if anybody has lied to you <laughs> me i'm coming to tell you that pregnancy is nobody's mate like Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I think I'm done. People just say, oh, you look so well, you look so fine. I'm like, yeah, pregnancy is good on my body externally. But what I go through on the inside, oh my God. Oh my goodness, it is a lot, like a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. So that is one of the reasons why I just want to share it. Because this is how I built my community. And I just want to share it in time while it is happening to me. Because I'm a content creator, all my core memories are on the internet like you guys currently i only film with my phone like things that are private that i want to remember i instantly send them to my husband to save on his google drive or his google cloud then things that you know maybe i just want to look back in 10 15 20 years to see maybe what my baby was like at two months three months down the internet instagram and maybe youtube right hopefully this um <laughs> social media platforms are still available <laughs> when we need them to be but most of my core memories are on the internet and i just want to you know keep it that way because i'm always clearing my phone you know creating space creating space to take new content so i'm always having to delete stuff and everything so even some things from Juba's pregnancy, I've deleted them. If I want to see what it was like, if I want to remind myself, I have to go back to the videos that I've done on YouTube or that I did on YouTube during those, you know, during those periods. But now I just want to do it while it is happening. I think that's just the main reason why I just want to share. I just want to carry my community along. You know, I just want to carry my community along. I'm sure that I'm not the only one pregnant at this time there are so many other people that are pregnant and i just want us to be able to hold hands together to say oh i feel you i see you you know rub my back i rub your back that kind of thing like just just to say you are not alone we are working this work together we would deliver safely we'll hear the voice of the mother hear the voice of the baby and hear the voice of the father <laughs> you know i think those are the two main reasons i don't have any spiritual you know reason to hide there is nothing like that for me there's people like that i don't know maybe for some reason yeah the Holy spirit is just convicting you to keep your pregnancy to yourself or, or not share publicly that's fine but for me i don't have any such instruction so why not if not pregnancy is such a it's such a joy you know it's such a it's such a joy just the miracle of creating a new life the miracle of someone said if you don't believe that god exists just look at the process of childbirth even though it's not god that would do the do to get you pregnant but the fact that it just made that process available for man to procreate is just it's just mind-blowing like that is miracle in itself and if you still don't believe that god god is real witness a woman giving birth then you know <laughs> if you don't have goose pimples if you don't believe that this is a supernatural working then i don't know what will convince you like you know, so pregnancy childbirth it's just a miracle so why not share with the world this little miracle that you that you have anyway that's all my story for today i'm just here to tell you that we are pregnant for baby number two and i wasn't deliberately hiding this pregnancy like i didn't do anything to hide it's just that i just didn't like the fact that some people would take it upon themselves to come and say oh you look pregnant i i just immediately delete those comments because this is 2024 you should already know that you shouldn't do that right so i just immediately delete those comments but i wasn't doing anything to deliberately hide um the pregnancy um the first three months obviously i was so sick i couldn't do anything so i was off social media i, I was off instagram I was off Instagram, I was off YouTube, I wasn't creating any con like I couldn't count. <laughs> I couldn't. Before I took it out, I promised my husband, I was like, promise that you will not let it affect your work. 
I said I promise. Hey! <laughs> I'm trying to bring out. <laughs> I'm sure the pregnancy was just laughing at me like you know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> if I hear the first week I did just pack up. <laughs> God, the sick that I seek. The sick that I seek. Oh God. Anyway, those are the things that I want to share, and that's why I'm making this video now. So before the end of the year, by God's grace, I would have two under two. Two under two. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I really really look forward to it. I hope you guys come with me on this amazing amazing journey Thank you so much for watching Leave me a comment. I know that you would say a lot of congratulations. So thank you in advance Thank you for all your congratulatory messages Thank you. Share this video. So next time I come your way after you do well and God bless you